Hi, Ivan here. Welcome into another video in our continuing Cosmo Barbarology conversation. In video number eight, we want to explore a fundamental technique of good short men's, but short anybody haircutting. Cosmo Barbarology loves this at its core. Well, I want to talk about clipper over comb. Clipper over comb cutting. Clipper over comb is going to be a technique you're going to use constantly on so many haircuts, whether it's used for tapering or layering or blending. Clipper over comb, fundamental to what we do. Now, in the Cosmo Barbarology system, we want to acknowledge, we want to focus, and we want to utilize two specific clipper over comb techniques. We want to talk about something called overhand clipper over comb. Overhand clipper over comb is called overhand clipper over comb because my hand is over the clipper. The other one is called, that's right, underhand clipper over comb. My hand is under the clipper. Now, how do you know which one to use when and where? I'm going to break it down for you. The memory aid is over, under, under, over. What do we mean by that? Here you go. We're going to divide the head at the occipital bone, the parietal ridge, the crest line, or the widest point of the head. Anytime we are cutting under the crest line, we're going to use overhand position. Anytime we are cutting over the crest line, we're going to switch to underhand position. So, under the crest line, overhand, over the crest line, underhand. Let me show you why. Under the crest line, under the curve of the head, I've got my zoot comb, I've got my number four guard on there for perfect tapering. I'm under the crest line and I am using overhand position. Look at me in my body. My wrist is straight, my elbows are down and in, my shoulders are relaxed, my back is straight, and I am working in a comfortable position. Under the curve of the head, under the crest line, clipper over comb. Now, as I move up the head, if I try to do layering up over the top of the head, look what has happened to me and my body. My wrist is bent, my elbow is up, my shoulder is lifted, my back is twisted, my hip is out, and I am now in an uncomfortable position. How long can you do that before you're feeling the ache, before you're hurting yourself behind the chair? So under the crest line, overhand, and when we come up to a point where we want to layer in the top of the head, we're going to rotate our clipper to the underhand position. Watch me now. I am cutting up over the curve of the head, but once again, my wrist is straight, my elbow is down, my shoulder is relaxed, my back is straight, and I am working in a comfortable position. Have you ever seen somebody cutting under the curve of the head? with underhand position. Look at that. Look what happened to me here. Hand up, elbow up, shoulder twisted, back jacked, hip out. Ouch! That hurts. That's not going to work very well for very long. So, clipper over comb. Over the crest line, underhand, under the crest line, overhand positioning. Now, I want to add one other bonus feature to this conversation about clipper over comb, and that is the idea of panel cutting. One of the common questions that comes up with clipper over comb training and education is, oh, where's my guide? I don't know where I am. I'm losing track of where I am in the head. Panel cutting is the answer to that question. Panel cutting is the answer to the question, how do you eat a rhinoceros? The answer is, you cut it up in little pieces. For the average haircutting professional, tapering a whole head of hair, that's like trying to swallow a whole big animal. You got to cut it up. We're going to use panel cutting. Panel cutting is a system where we subdivide the head into a series of vertical panels. Panel number one is at the center back of the head. It's an inch and a half, inch and a quarter wide from below the nape to above the occipital. I'm going to trace my finger in a box around panel number one. There it is. Boom. Right there. Panel number one. Coincidentally, panel number one is about the size of the tooth area of my comb. It's about the size of the tooth area of my comb. And here's how panel cutting works. You're going to cut panel number one. You're going to cut panel number one, this center back panel right here. Now with that guard on, the hair is too short. I'm going to take my guard off my zoot comb 
and I'm just gonna go straight comb. So we'll see some hair fall. We'll do some real hair cutting here. In panel number one, comb at an angle overhand because we're under the curve of the head. And I'm gonna cut this area until I'm happy with this area. Until panel number one represents a little finished haircut. I'm gonna keep the comb at an angle and I'm gonna roll the comb till the top of the tips of the teeth are tipped out towards my torso. Here we go. Roll the comb till the top of the tips of the teeth are tipped out towards your torso. That's what clipper over comb is all about. That's what clipper over comb is to look like. Working in center back panel number one. And when you're happy with panel number one, and only when you're happy with panel number one, do you move on to panel number two. Panel number two consists of 50% of previously cut panel number one serving as your guide and 50% uncut hair living next door. It's a classic traveling guide. Panel number one becomes our guide for panel number two. And the secret here is if you spent the time in panel number one, if you invested the time in panel number one to get panel number one really good, panel number two becomes quick because we move over, we can see the guide in the leading edge of our comb and we simply move up in panel number two. Two's done. I did a lot more cutting in one to set up a guide. Now I follow it. Panel number three. Panel number three is half of panel number two. That's right. We don't go back to one. One was my guide for two. Two is my guide for three. Three will be my guide for four. And around the head we go. And you're gonna come in and you're gonna look for two and you're gonna cut three and you're gonna work up in a vertical panel. On a full-sized male head, it'll take four to seven, anywhere from four to seven panels to get from the center back to the back of the ear. When you get to the back of the ear, you stop, you go back to panel number one, and you work your way out the opposite side. So, for clipper over comb for the Cosmo Barbarology system, we rely on overhand clipper over comb, and we use underhand clipper over comb, and we break the head down into panels using our panel cutting system. I wanna help you be a $100,000 hair cutter. I want you to tune in. I want you to never miss a video. I want you to comment, like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. I wanna help you, and this channel is one of the best ways I can do it. Use the link in the podcast description in the video description to join my online academy. This is hair cutting, the academy, that's business. And when you've got both, the Cosmo Barbarology concept for cutting, and the right information for business, you're gonna be a $100,000 hair cutter, and I'm gonna help you make it happen. Have a great day.